How to initialize an empty GitHub repository using the browser, a Git client, or API. You can create an empty GitHub repository by going to github.com. Click on New. Provide a name for your repository. I'll choose Add Files to Empty GitHub Repo. Set it to be private. Skip the Initialize this repository with step and click on Create Repository. Now, we're redirected to the repository page, but it's empty. How to initialize the repository using the browser. Click on either the Create a new file or Upload an existing file hyperlinks. I'll click on Creating a new file. I'll call the file hello.txt and its content will be Hi. Click on Commit Changes. You can change the commit message or keep it as is and then click on Commit Changes. We're redirected to the repository page and now it's initialized with the new file we created. How to initialize a repository using a Git client. I created in advance another empty repository called Empty Repo 2. In the repository page in GitHub, we can see the URL we need to use in order to clone the repository using a Git client. Copy it and then go to the terminal Choose where you want to clone the repository to, and then git clone, and paste the URL we copied earlier. You might be prompt to insert your password or a PAT, a personal access token. I'll show you now how to create a PAT. In GitHub, click on your profile, settings, developer settings, personal access tokens, tokens, Classic, Generate New Token, Generate New Token Classic, Give the token a name, Make sure to check repo, and Generate the token. Make sure to store the token because you'll never get to see it in GitHub again. After cloning the repository, let's change directory to the repository, cd empty repo 2. Create a new file, echo hi into hello.txt, stage the change, git add hello.txt, commit the change, git commit hyphen m, my custom commit message, and then git push or region main. Now let's go back to GitHub. We can see the new file we created. You can also use a file editor to create new files and commit changes. I welcome you to watch my YouTube video about how to use GitHub and VS Code. How to initialize the repository using GitHub's API. I created another repository in advance called Empty Repo 3. In order to use GitHub's API, you will have to create a PAT, a personal access token first. I'll cover briefly again how to create a PAT. In GitHub, click on your profile, settings, Developer Settings, Personal Access Tokens, Tokens, Classic, Generate New Token, Generate New Token, Classic. Give the token a name, make sure to check repo and generate the token. Make sure to store the token because you'll never get to see it in GitHub again. Back to initializing our empty repository. You won't be able to create anything in the repository using GitHub's API until the repository is initialized. Not empty commits, nor Git references, trees, or blob objects. In order to initialize the repository, use GitHub's API to upload the file. I'll post GitHub's documentation in the video's description. You can pass a specific branch to init the repository with. It doesn't have to be main. So here's the API call. I copied it from GitHub's documentation. CURL hyphen L hyphen X put hyphen H with the header, another header for the token that we created earlier, another header for the GitHub API version. Then we're going to use the GitHub's API U, uh, URL together with our user and repo names. And then we'll put the file that we want to initialize the repository with in my call I'm using emptyfile.txt. 
And then we're also passing a commit message in the repository with an empty file. The content would be empty because we're just initializing the repository. And I'm choosing the branch Tom to be the default branch of the repository, not main. Now let's go back to the repository page in GitHub. We see that the repository is initialized with the empty file we uploaded. Notice that the only branch in the repository is Tom, which is also the default branch of the repository. If you don't want to keep the commit that uploaded the file in the branch history, after uploading the file, now you can create an empty commit using the empty tree SHA, SHA, and update the default branch to point to the empty commit, making the previous commit to be removed from the branch's history. I'll post the empty tree SHA in the video's description. You can also find it from a Google search. Now, we'll use GitHub's API documentation to create a commit. I'll post it as well in the video's description. For the required field of tree, we'll use the empty tree SHA. So CURL hyphen L hyphen X post, same headers as we used earlier. Now we're using the uh, GitHub's API with slash git slash commits. And then we have a new commit message, no parents because we want to initialize the branch on this commit only. And then we're going to pass the tree SHA for the empty tree SHA. Now we want to update the branch to point to the empty commit SHA using GitHub's API. So we'll have to copy to copy the commit SHA provided in GitHub's response when we created the commit. Now let's call the update reference API. So again, CRL hyphen L. And now for the uh, uh, GitHub API, we're going to use slash git slash refs slash heads for a branch slash Tom, which is the name of my branch. And we'll pass the shout of the commit we created earlier. And we'll also pass force as true because we want to override where the branch is pointing to. Now let's go to the repository page. We can see that there are no files in the repository and the history of the only branch, Tom, shows only the empty commit. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.